One of the highlights in this edition of the Auto Expo Motor Show here at Greater Noida is the unveil of this vehicle, an electric sedan from BYD, the world's largest uh, EV maker. And to tell us about uh, this vehicle and overall strategy for the company in India is uh, Mr. Sanjay Gopal Krishnan, Senior Vice President at BYD. Sanjay, thanks for joining ET Auto. Thank you, thank you, uh, Quickly, uh, what so far, what has been your understanding of the BYD's understanding of the Indian market? And with this <coughs> seal, you are uh, going to enter the sedan segment. So what prospects do you see for it? So uh, I think, thank you, Sumantra. Uh, basically, I think we are one year into the business, into the electric vehicle, passenger vehicle business in India. We launched the MPV, which was the first MPV, electric MPV in India, five-seater MPV. Good response. Then we came, we launched the SUV, which we are starting deliveries from today, the BYD R23. We have got close to 2,000 bookings. Uh, we have very good customer response in terms of the technology, in terms of the features. Uh, then we wanted to show the next level of technology with BYD, that is the cell-to-body technology. Uh, we showed the blade battery, the e-platform in the first two cars. The third technology, which is more advanced, where we actually do a vehicle sandwich structure, that is a cell-to-body technology which the seal brings. Uh, could you explain a little bit more about so the So basically, uh, in the cell-to-body structure, what happens is the vehicle and the body is integrated. The battery and the body is integrated, completely making a vehicle sandwich structure rather than a battery sandwich structure. So the battery goes completely inside the vehicle, making it more safe, more rigid, and less accident prone. So this technology comes in the seal. We introduced globally with the seal sedan. So we wanted to showcase that technology to India. And we will be unveiling, we unveil the car today. We will be launching the car in the fourth quarter of 2023. Right. Talking about staying with the technology, with this technology, why did it is more compact? And as you said, it's relatively safer. But in terms of replacement, won't that make it a little bit more challenging? See, uh, this technology is currently now available in our premium technology, premium sedan cars and the premium SUVs. So that's why we wanted to, actually in India, BYD as a company is following a top-down approach. We want to bring the premium premium cars, bring the technology to India, make consumers understand. So that's that approach we are following. And then over a period of next to two to three years, then we will see how the market is evolving and then we will bring more you know, uh, middle-level cars, which is affordable to the mass segments. You know. And when you say premium, this one, approximately what price range would it fall? See, in? we are not decided, but we will definitely categorize in the premium sedan segment. That's what we are looking at. So we are not worked out a price because the launch is far away. So we will look, we are looking at a premium sedan luxury segment. Okay. And in terms of over the past year, uh, how, how many vehicles, how many customers have you found uh, till date? And uh, this year, uh, what is what is the you know prospects or what kind of targets do you have? In E6, uh, since one year, we have sold close to 700 E6 uh, all across the country. This year, our target with all the three vehicles, we are looking at a target of 15,000 vehicles for the year, entire year, calendar year. Uh, of course, Ato 3 is going to be the maximum, followed by E6. Seal is going to be the last quarter, so the numbers will be small. So we are looking at selling 15,000 EVs in India. And as you scale up, would, would BYD also look at having a kind of a, let's say, you know, as part of its localization strategy, some like a, a battery uh, product production here, local battery production here? See, currently for battery, we have not decided anything. Yes, definitely uh, in the phase two of our expansion, maybe what we are looking at is 2025. We will look at localization, we will look at local manufacturing, uh, but we are still working on that. But that is definitely phase two of our expansion because Initially, it takes two or three years to establish a brand, establish a car technology. So that's what we are looking at 2025 as phase two. In the same plant, or would Maybe you require new facilities? But we are still working on it. Right. You know, uh, Sanjay, we are not too far from the union budget annual budget. So, uh, from a uh, EV industry perspective, you know, what would you like to see in in the, in the union budget? See, I think uh, we would expect as an EV player to continue with the current uh, incentives, the GST policies, which is going on. Because anyway, every state has a different EV policy in terms of local taxes registration, which is helping the consumers. But as a central level, possibly the GST, which is 5% across all EVs, continues, which will boost the EV demand in the country. So you're saying that if not anything new, if you even if you don't offer anything new, don't take away what is already there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. On that note, best wishes to BYD. Thank you. Thank you, Sumantra. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much.